so if the market cycle is is turning and it's now in accumulation, it's graded A and Bs. Um, when we go through patches of volatility like this, one thing that I own now on the side to take advantage of the stock market um, cycle that's now higher is the TQQQ. Now, this is a leveraged, uh, insanely active with volume. But this is a leveraged ETF. Now, don't try to have your neighbors over here. There's a, if you try to talk to them uh, and you say, hey, I'm, I'm buying you know, a bullish leveraged uh, ETF on the TQQQ. I mean, if they already think you're weird, uh, they're going to they're gonna put an exclamation point behind that. But basically, all that means is the ETFs, they trade like stocks, they open and close like stocks, they have bid-ass uh, spreads like stocks and volume like stocks. Um, they don't trade over the weekend like stocks don't. So it just touches and feels like a stock. But what's behind it is they have these contracts that they've entered into that are centered on the NASDAQ. And if the NASDAQ moves higher, this moves higher by an order of magnitude, okay? And we can, you can always check that by, if we type in TQQQ, okay, Pro Shares, Ultra Pro, and we can go to Profile, and it'll explain it in here. Trading, it's a leveraged equity. Um, where does it say the three to or two or three times? Usually it's on the right hand side. You know, it's, it's usually over down. there. Summary, just scroll down a little bit. Just below that ad. Oh, oh below, below this ad? Oh, below this ad. Summary, it's say. Fun summary. Yeah, yeah, okay. 100 largest. Uh, I'm not sure why we're not seeing that. But I believe it's a three times. Anyway, I believe it's a three times effect. So as, as the NASDAQ is going uh, on its merry way, what I like to do is because there's so much interest in this, is on strength like and it doesn't look like much right here let me let me separate it and i'm not saying here that you should do it no i can't do this we're we're educational here but um i own shares in this right now the tqqq and what i try to do is first of all just own it and on strength so on strong weeks and i consider this this is a super volatile week, but we've had some gain this week. So this is on some strength. So that's sitting here at 25, 25. Um, let me pull up an option chain on it. So I like to sell weekly calls uh, on strength. So here's that 20, 25, 28. If we go out next week, and this might not look exciting, but again, this is something I'm doing over there on the side. I might go uh, sell these 2650 calls. Okay, look at the bid ass. These are pennies. Look at all the action right there. Part of the reason <clears throat> you can get what we can get here is because the world's action is centered on the weeklies on both the call and put side. But I'm super comfortable on a week like this to sell next week's 2650 calls bring in uh 57 uh cents now if you have a thousand shares of this these pro shares and you sell out of the money 2650s for next week that 57 cents um what that amounts to in dollars and cents is well we move the decimal over two for the one contract, so $57. But if we sell 10 contracts, that's $570 um, that you get right now, today, within seconds. You you collect that, it credits your account. 
$570. What have you agreed to do? Well, you've agreed to sell TQQQ at $2650. And that's a dollar twenty more than when the where the pro shares are right now. And if you own these, uh, you will instantly, well, not instantly, but after you own these for a little bit, you'll gain an intuition like of how much the TQQQs move as we have certain weeks that go along. And I find a lot of times these just expire worthless. So it, because we're selling out of the money. So this can TQQQs can go up a dollar twenty more. And we still keep all of that. Um, if sometime if the shares if they go up above 2650, go to 20 uh, seven, 2750, um, I might uh, have it get called out. And then the NASDAQ's inevitably going inevitably to have some weakness. And guess what I can do to buy more shares of this? I can sell a weekly put, take in another 60, 70 cents and say, hey, I want to buy the TQQQs here. I want to get paid to buy them back. And if they're delivered to me, and then we get strength, I can sell calls. We can do this just all day long and twice on Sunday, okay? But the only reason that this is lit up and doable right now is because the market cycle is turned higher. We can just now play games on the volatility. I'm not saying we can predict what the market does, okay? But for uh, the bear market's end, and if things are gonna rebound, this TQQQ is fun over there on the side to do. And just to reiterate, it's not a money press. I'm not buying calls on the TQQQ. I'm buying actual TQQQ shares. That's what it is. And in order to collect some of this income, you have to be at least at 100 shares to be able to do it, to be able to sell one. Because these contracts represent 100 shares. So, um, and by the way, it pays a dividend.